This is how to extract a 5-1 surround mix from a Blu-ray of any movie. Short of having the DME splits of the movie, isolating the center channel of a 5-1 surround mix is a good way to obtain a cleaner sounding dialogue track from a movie, which can be used in your editing projects. Here's an example of a film with the full 5-1 mix and then only the isolated center channel. Don't lie. Go to hell. Been there. Now burn. <laughs> Don't a lie. Go to hell. Been there. Now burn. This method involves a Blu ray writer, a Blu ray to MKV conversion program called Make MKV, a video encoding software called Handbrake, and Premiere CC. Put the Blu ray of the movie into your Blu ray drive. Open MKV and select the Blu ray drive from the source drop down menu and hit extract. A list of all the content on the Blu-ray will appear. These could be bonus features, title screens, or preview trailers. The movie is going to be the largest file with the most chapters. Select the output folder and hit Make MKV. You'll have to convert the MKV file into a supported format to use in Premiere. Before converting the file in Handbrake, ensure you select 5.1 channels in the Audio tab under Mixdown. This will ensure the encoding will retain the 5.1 data. The encoding will take 30 minutes to an hour. Import the movie into Premiere. Right click on the file in the project bin and go to Modify, Audio Channels. Change the number of audio clips to 6. Set clip 1 to left speaker. Clip 2 to right speaker. Clip 3 to center, and so on. Now you have six separate channels um, of a 5 1 audio. So if you want to use the center channel for dialogue, you can go ahead and unlink all the audio tracks and keep the center channel, which is the third channel. Um, the reason why the center channel generally has cleaner dialogue is because when audio is mixed um, for surround sound in movies, it just makes sense that the dialogue is sent to the center channel speaker. Um, so this is just like a little tricky way that you're able to have um, cleaner sounding dialogue by um, using the 5.1 audio mix you can find in any Blu-ray or DVD.